Hi, and welcome to Bitcoin Outdoor Media, mountain lion hunting. Tom and I are out here this week, Arizona with Derringer Outfitters, having a great time. It is a tough hunt. It is windy. We're at high altitude, 8,000 feet back here. The wind is high, and we're on horseback, having a great time. Stick with us. We're on the track of some cats. Enjoy it, and we'll be right back. Since prehistoric times, the mountain lion has inspired awe and fear in humans. Its position as the apex predator in the Americas remains unchallenged. Being extremely reclusive and hunting mostly at night, men quickly realized they were no match for this predator. However, man's best friend was. Due to western expansion by settlers and state-sponsored bounties, the mountain lion's range was restricted to the western U.S. by the mid-1860s. However, its population there is not only stable, but thriving. If you want to hunt a lion, you have to do it on its terms, in its territory, the way it wants to play the game. It is not for the weak of heart. Welcome to Mountain Lion Hunting. Well, after a long winter waiting and building anticipation, Tom and I finally got our boots on the ground in Phoenix, Arizona. The bags arrived, Everything else got here, and we were ready. Hunting mountain lions. Here we go. Tom got in on time, and I picked him up at the airport, and we were ready to roll heading north for mountain. If you've not hunted northern Arizona before, you absolutely have to get out at least once. The mountains, the valleys, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's easily one of my favorite places to hunt. About an hour and a half, two hours out of Derringer's Outfitters. Gonna kill the mountain lion. Getting our licenses here. I'd like to stay nice and legal wherever we go. That's right. We know Greg might come from Illinois to Arizona. We're legal now. It's ready to happen. Ready to kill a couple cats.
the day starts early in mountain lion camp. It has to. You have to load up mules, horses, dogs, trailers, and after they're all on board, we drive an hour to an hour and a half to where the most likely sign is. Once you find a good place to access the mountain, we ditch the trucks, unload the horses and mules, pack them up, and we set the dogs free. Let me introduce you to the LeBron Jameses of the hunting world. These dogs are the most underappreciated athletes in any sport. They don't eat, they don't drink, they only know one thing, and that is chasing lions until they find them. They are the whole reason we are here, and they are our ticket to success. Hey! Well, my first day was really great. We hit it hard, went over mountains, did 15 miles worth of saddle work. It ultimately didn't come together, but we had a great time. We got packed up, ready to go for the next day. But meanwhile, Tom had an outstanding first day. Bulgaria? Really? Yeah, yeah, from Pennsylvania. Just got down here yesterday, uh, last yeah. night, so. So we have about 40 dogs. <laughs> Five guys, and we will get them out live. Trail, hot on the trail. Okay, we gotta lock us in tight bead and don't hit any rocks or dogs. <laughs> Nice job, Scotty. Uh, you too, man. That was some good shooting Thanks, in a shitty spot. That's an awesome ass hunt right there. <laughs>
Alaska a little bit. Oh, so, yeah. That's what that is. What is it? He'd been fighting another other lion. Place. Really? Yeah. They get into it pretty hardcore? Yeah, they can. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they slam. Well, Tom just killed a good cat. Beautiful ending to a great hunt. Dogs were on it from the get-go. You can't beat a mountain lion jumping on your back after you've shot it twice. Tom has the best story. We're thrilled to be here. One more cat to go. Day two, looking for some lions. Tom, you're just along for the ride now. Along for the ride, man. No, the lot line kill today. <laughs> Tom got attacked by a mountain lion yesterday. <laughs> and we'll film your kid. Okay. Nice, bud. No big deal. Just a little, uh, just a little, a little, mile a little twenty mile an hour ride. No big deal. <laughs> Well, the best part about dry ground mountain lion hunting is it is western hunting in its prime. The country is amazing. You're riding like the old west. I mean, there's nothing different than the 1880s other than my GPS unit and my polyfiber Gore-Tex outfit. Well, besides the great country, something Tom and I realized on this day is that this was going to be a tough hunt, and we were going to have to stretch and scrape for every advantage we had. This was not going to be tree a cat and shoot it, and we learned the hard way, this was the real deal. We are going up this mountain. There could be a cat here. This started the climb that I will never forget for the rest of my life. I've been on horses a lot and I'm pretty good with them, but Tom really hadn't. And this is just ridiculous to ask of anybody anywhere. We went straight up the side of a 9,000 foot sheer scree wall. The horses could barely make it, several times they fell. We finally got up to the top, and I will tell you, this was an adventure. Despite the challenge of getting up there, I have to admit it was one of the most amazing views we'd ever seen. Well by then we were all beat and we decided we'd take a half hour siesta, regroup, look at the map, and decide how we were going to attack this cat to try and get him on the ground after our all day effort. Really awesome view, look at this. We just climbed over 6,000 feet. 
We just climbed 3,000 feet up a cliff like that with horses. It's only the second time I've ever ridden a horse for more than a half hour in my life. Places that no ATVs can go. Windy conditions. Rebecca prepared. Very prepared. He even has his chaps on. He's quite some rider climbing this two, three thousand foot mile. Good job. Turn around, Blue. There you go. Give some love to the camera, buddy. Nice. Get some light. Here comes another big backer. <laughs> get a lion, baby. Get a lion, man. We're on it. We only have about 40 dogs. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you live and die by your mule, you feed him, you treat him, you check your tack twice a day. Hell, I'd give him a back rub if it was going to get me up and down that mountain safely. I love that mule. around the trail. It's on foot. I'm living in here. <laughs> I'm a lot <laughs> Absolutely. Hell yeah. Big Tom now. There's five dogs on the first track. Now we gotta crawl for him. Well, despite the fact that we came across three or four fresh set of male lion tracks, we just couldn't find them. The wind was high, it was blowing the tracks sideways, we couldn't tell what direction they were going. And we put it in hard and the dogs worked hard, but it just didn't work out. And at this point, we were beat. We just needed to saddle up, get our stuff done, and get back to the ranch and go to sleep. This is where we went. Not in the past year. In the mountains. Over that peak. Badass. A couple of big lions. Tomorrow we put one last one down. Every group of friends has an asshole, and if you don't agree, that's probably because it's you. Well, this is our asshole. Molly would not get back in the truck. 
Every one of us wanted to kill her at this point. We just want to go home. I think we showed great restraint given the circumstances. Well, by that third morning, we are tired. And at this point, we are desperate to try and close the deal on one of these big toms. Everybody was ready, and I think the dogs could feel it. Well, tired as we were, we hit the saddle hard that day because we knew we had one more day to close it. And those dogs, you almost thought they knew that this was the last day and they had to get it done for their honor. You'll be happy to know Tom didn't lose his spirit either, or his buzz. Well, after about an hour, Tom and I took a break to let the dogs run out a track they found, check our GPS. And as so often happens, when sometimes you're cold, all of a sudden, you get hot. Hey! And just like that, we are back in the game. These dogs are locked onto a fresh track. We are now off and running after him. We found the track. We know what direction he's going. And as luck would have it, this cat is not that far away. These dogs are hot. They're on him heavy. And we could not be more excited. Now the only question is, do we have enough time to find this cat, kill him, and get back before our plane leaves? We got a lion up here. <sighs> Working hard to get up on him. 600 yards away, the dogs have not fallen out. It's cold as hell this morning. I've been working hard for this. <sighs> so let's see what we got here. Dogs have him caught. He's right over here on a bluff. We're running out of time, so we gotta do this quick. We're hoping he doesn't get some second wind and jump out again. Hang tight. You probably figure there is no chance this cat can get away. Well, you are wrong. The second I came around the boulder to get a better shot away from the dogs, he saw me, jumped 30 feet down off that ledge. I sent two after him, probably one winged his shoulder. But as you can see, he is not hurt. The game is on. So we took two shots at him. He jumped out, went by us and down the hill. So now we're chasing him again. The dogs have him up in the tree. Maybe a cactus. So we're on our way down here. We 
we are tearing down a mountain so steep you can't understand. Half the time we're sliding and half the time we're stumbling. Going after a wounded mountain lion that's being chased by this pack of dogs thousands of yards down the hill. This is where mountain lion hunting separates itself from any other kind of sport. Seconds after this, my poor mule fell, took us both out, and we shot 50 yards down this scree slope. Now this is fun. Well, after a couple of really intense showdowns, this lion finally ran off and ran into a cave. Now this is ridiculous, but the dogs went right in up and next to him. We had to pull them out. I had to crawl into this cave and use my iPhone as a flashlight, because who would bring a flashlight on a mountain lion hunt? Okay, so the issue here is I can't see to aim the pistol. So I'm trying to coordinate the iPhone flashlight to see his eyes and put a bullet in between those eyes. And it just wasn't working. There he is. You saw that battle. That was ridiculous. Hardest hunt I've ever done. He's got one up over the ridge over there. Yeah. Success. So we have about 40 dogs. <laughs> Five guys, and we will get them out. It's <laughs> the worst chores I've ever seen. <laughs> when it's, it rubs against some bark, you know? It's a bad deal. That's your buddy. Dude, dude, go with your, go with your other dogs and catch some. Yeah, get out. Of fun. Go with your other dogs and catch some. You're not getting paid, motherfucker. Track something. Yeah. Get some light. Here comes another broke ass motherfucker. We only have about 40 dogs. <laughs> Get demon! 
the other one left it at the house. Taser to get him into the truck. Little taser. Thank you.